Welcome back to uh, Skegsy on the farm in rural Thailand. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, this video is called uh, Rice and Grass and it's literally going to take you across uh, our land and what's actually been happening in the last couple of weeks or so. In the last video I showed you this particular part of our land uh, which I ploughed and then the group of people there sitting by the tuk-tuk uh, have been along and actually put the rice seed in and Chai is going along with the tractor and turning the soil and uh, hopefully the rice will grow. Well it isn't really growing that well. This is going to be a, like a tour around uh, a big square. So you're starting off at uh, the bottom end of our land uh, with the rice is and because we just haven't had any rain it's not growing very well as you can see there's lots of uh, uh, bare patches with the rice uh, other people haven't even bothered putting their rice in yet so as I say we're going to be doing like a, a circuit this is auntie you can see auntie's house there in the blue roof um, so this is auntie's land but this is our rice um, she gives us permission to grow rice on her land there's three fields there then you've got her lake and then you've got three fields the other end and we'll go to the other end of that road on this tour so if you keep in mind it, where auntie's house is all the time you give an idea so we started off down that part of the road down to our land now this is where the water we would normally go it comes off the fields when the fields are full uh, people will put large drains and which will take the water Essex water away and then this is normally a torrent of water if something fell in there you will be easily swept away but as you can see it's just dry as a bone um, it's, it's just not enough rain um, we, we'll carry on on this my scooter as I say I'll take the dogs for a uh, run and do this every night now so that's auntie's house that's where we were down there uh, originally on the last part anyway we're carrying along this road this is what the roads are like on the Thailand there when it does rain they just become bogs but um, I can show you that everybody else hasn't gambled by putting uh, the rice seed in they've turned the soil with the little bit of rain that we have had has made the soil sort of soft enough to actually put a plow through it but to come along and put rice in they're, they're just not gambling like uh, we've gambled by putting our rice in early if you remember rightly last year when um, we put it in early and then the rain came later and later and uh, we ended up getting our combine harvester stuck because it was so wet. Okay, so now we're at the other end of Auntie's land. So Auntie's house is uh, on the left-hand side. If you carry on down that uh, road that we made, uh, you will come to the other end of her gates. And as you can see, it's uh, still not growing. So we will carry along that road there. Again, this should be full of uh, water uh, with the overflow of the fields, but uh, I think absolutely nothing. And that's the jungle over that side there's nothing over there I'm told there's lots of nasties in there like big bees which were strong enough to kill you but uh, I've never been in I'm just told don't go so now we're at the other end of our land is where the tractor was uh, uh, originally when we started the video and uh, we've drained our lake um, they call them lakes here but they're basically just deep ponds um, the fish will actually go in there and people will come along and fish where the fish come from I just have no idea because they, they don't put them in there they, they just appear anyway next door as you can see haven't planted rice so had no need to actually drain their lake to actually try and get the, the rice to grow this was all sort of made when we put the fence in the fence goes right the way out around our land now uh, 537 posts I think it took to actually uh, close our land off um, because uh, people normally just let their cows wander off during the day that um, obviously if uh, we didn't have this fenced off some cows could just wander in and start eating our rice so this is why it was important originally to uh, fence it all off um, so there you go so it was basically that was the lake and it was pumped out through there underneath there's the pump uh, run by uh, diesel and then we pump water in here and it does look a, a little bit healthier than the other end 
um, in the middle down there it uh, doesn't look too bad but uh, when you get quite uh, close up to it there's still lots of bare patches like uh, like these uh, when the rice gets bigger and, and it becomes more of a bog like a paddy field you can actually go in and uh, um, you know, and move it around a bit and spread it out a bit okay so we carried on along that road uh, and then you come to the bottom end of our land now this is actually the land where we live um, or originally if you've been watching my videos from the early days you know that this part of the land was just uh, unusual it was just a, a bog uh, because it was um, lower than everybody else's soil in the area um, it just would fill up with water and uh, you just couldn't do anything with it um, it, it would uh, just uh, overflow from here out of these lakes when they were full and then come across the road here and then just literally fill this land up with water um, but uh, after 1200 and something or other truckloads of soil we managed to get it up to a decent height spread it all out and then grow our own grass um, we are the only people in the district who have actually got grass everybody else is going along the side of motorways or going along where uh, there is a bit of grass and cutting it and taking it back to their cows where we are not self-efficient but we're saving us a lot of money on buying straw and cow food because we do actually have this land uh, the first thing we had to do was fence it all off obviously because other people's cows would wander in and start eating it like some of them babies over there some of the smaller cows wandered in and started eating it so this fence here was actually one of the first things we, we did and it goes right the way around the land so we carry up that road and then turn left and then we we're looking back to where we were standing by that tree where the tractor was now because uh, the grass is easier you've just seen chai cutting it with a streamer and then once he's got it all streamed out um, we can do it with the tractor like this um, originally before it was like really hard work uh, because the, it would be too boggy for the uh, truck to go in the truck would just get stuck with its slow wheels um, so you would have to rake it or put it into baskets and carry it to the back of the truck or the tuk-tuk uh, now because it isn't too wet the tractor can just simply do this with it and that's just push it into a, a large uh, lump uh, I've actually tried doing that but I'm not quite so good on getting the level right so I've taken some of the grass off the top um, some of the uh, yeah some of the grass top taking it too uh, taking the it too low anyway so once it's in a pile as you can see we just bring the tractor along the side and then just put it in now uh, it's not really that dark it just looks dark because I've just put the camera towards the uh, sunset it looks a lot more beautiful and the camera's actually showing but uh, that was a stunning color um, anyways I flicked the camera around I didn't suddenly notice that that cow had wandered off outside the area and uh, it did cause a bit of a problem because uh, it just kept wandering off away normally I just think oh it's going to come back in with the rest of the cows but uh, it didn't it wandered off and we had to go and find it with a torch yet <laughs> so there's the tractor back he's now uh, tries unloading the straw uh, sorry the unloading the grass and then the cows will be allowed into the fence this is my job at the end of the day filling the cows uh, water barrels uh, with water and then the cows are then allowed in uh, to eat fresh grass uh, the actual system works really well and uh, we're lucky enough to as I say to have our own grass at the moment and uh, given the choice between straw and uh, grass the cows prefer the grass now that baby that you saw, you probably think, oh, I saw that on the last video. No, sadly, that one died. This one is only uh, one, two, four days old. This is a brand new one. This is a boy. The uh, little girl that you saw in the last video has died. Um, we took it to the vet the next morning when we found it. 
and the rat vet did an autopsy on it, o autopsy on it, yeah, you know what I mean. And they had two broken ribs. One of these other bigger cows had obviously taken a dislike to it and given it a good shove with her horns and broken two of the ribs. And she passed away during the night. Um, so we got that brand new one. Uh, he's a little boy. And uh, if you look at it again, uh, the video, you can see that he's quite meaty already. And he's going to grow into a big, strong boy. Anyway, so I just sort of give you a bit of update on what, how the rice is doing. Still no rain today. Um, it looks a bit more cloudy, but uh, the forecast says no rain. So uh, I, I hope uh, this video finds you well. It's um, 41 degrees today and 87% humidity. Uh, it's not very pleasant, but uh, this is life on the farm. So uh, again, I hope this video finds you well, people, and uh, uh, I'll catch you again soon. As for now, bye-bye.